foundation. I found when I tested these on my hands, they were so, so similar that I would love to do a review and demo on these two products. So, Elf is going to be on this side of my face, and Wet n Wild is going to be on this side of my face. But we're going to try it out and see how they work, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the differences in these two products. Okay, so first off, we are going to put our hair up and out of our way. I'm going to apply both foundations with my e.l.f. powder brush, flat top powder brush. So, let's get started with the wet and wild. That is way too much. I'm never going to use it. <laughs> Ever. I'm just going to use it. Just as many as you need to know That when you feel that we're the against Oh, there's that Just as many as you need to know That when you feel that we're the against your skin more matte than this one, so. It blends very well. 
also has a messy tube applicator where see how it comes up and it's quite messy. Mind you, this is a little bit easier because it can be held this way, where this one sits this way, so it just kind of pours out. This is the lightest color and it is a little bit on the darker side. So if you are very, very light, this will more than likely not work for you. This also contains one fluid ounce. This also has a cosmetic smell, but it is not quite as strong as the Wet n Wild. It dries fairly fast. Uh, in Canada, you can order this only online, but if you do live in the States, you can purchase this at your uh, Target. This does oxidize and becomes quite orangey throughout the day, so if you don't like that, because this side is much more orange than this side, so, and it does oxidize even a little bit more to get a little bit more of an orangey, yellowy tinge, so. Those are my thoughts on these two products, and I will come back and tell you what I think of the lasting power later in the day. I'm going to continue to have this side and this side done, so. Hopefully, they both have good lasting power, especially the Wet n Wild, since it is a coverall, long-lasting foundation it is supposed to be. We will see. Okay, so it's not the end of the day. It's only been about 30 minutes, and already the elf side is drying awful around my mouth, and it's got this cakey look to it. And I did not apply much, as you saw, so it's and it's sinking into my pores. This side is a little bit drying around my mouth and around, right around here on my eye. But other than that, it's lo it looks very nice. The elf side is horrible, and I'm taking it off. So, this, and I di did not have anything on underneath this. So this might, um, this may perform better with a good primer underneath. Um, but without a primer, it does not work at all, so not a huge fan of this. Mind you, with this and a primer, I think this would be amazing. So, out of the two, I like the Wet n Wild ten times better. And I feel like it it's set really nice, whereas this one has set powdery, cakey looking, just blotchy and not nice at all. I don't know. If you can see it on this side. But I am going to be removing all of this and um, yeah, probably putting the wet and wild back on. But the Elf, as for the Elf, I would not recommend this. Just by the way it performed, not for any specific person in general, but I'm not liking the way it is setting on my skin and becoming blotchy and cakey and separating already and it's been on like uh, 35 minutes? Like, what is going on? Anyway. I hope that was helpful. That is my mini review and demo of these two products. Uh, I guess it would be a first impressions review, but I wouldn't waste your money. It's more expensive than this, and this is more easy to find and cheaper, and it's great. So I would go with this. I would skip this on the website. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! Okay, I know this is like a bonus clip. I just wanted to show you how yellow it really is. Do you see that? I took it off, and that's how yellow it really is. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, bye. Chop, chop, chop.